Look at all this wasted space. So one of the biggest problems that I have is getting cables from the middle of the house to an external wall when I'm installing an EV charging point. I'm in a townhouse today. Here's the consumer unit. So to get my cable out here, I'm gonna drill a hole here, here, which will get me into here. And I'm gonna drill a hole there, through here, which gets me back to here. I'm also going to make it a new hatch so that new space under the stairs is usable. Now I'm going to be running a 10mm twin and earth cable from the consumer unit to the outside wall and I need to find a way of concealing that cable. So today I'm going to be using the white D-line 50x25 trunking. It's got a nice bevel edge and it will sit nicely above the skirting board. I'm also going to be using the D-line safety clips within my trunking. Okay, so the D-line trunking also comes with a range of accessories, including angle bends, internal bends, external bends, stop ends, couplers, and they also have a range of single and double gang back boxes, which all coincide with the range of D-line. Once you've finished installing your D-line trunk in, I suggest using a bit of decorator's cork just to go around the edges and dress it in nicely, as I have and I'll show you now. I've also finished the secret hatch, which has provided loads of extra storage for my customer. I've got my 10mm EV Ultra cable now from the house to the garage so I can install my consumer unit down here. I've installed an EV Ultra cable so I can get continuity on the Cat5 for the load balancing. I've also pulled in an external grade Cat5 cable and that's to hardwire the internet connection. If you want to see how we hardwire a zappy internet connection then make sure you keep watching till the end. <laughs> Now I'm not actually the first person to come and do this job. My clients actually went with a much bigger company than me originally recommended by the dealer. If you're into the EV charging stuff, you probably know who I'm talking about. So what you'll find with these bigger companies that you get surveys done online for is that they won't come and obviously have a look at the property. And then when they turn up, they will tell you that they can't do the job because there's a lot more involved than what they originally thought. And if you're interested, these are the D-Line EV cable fixings. I'll leave a link below to D-Line. You can buy all of the D-Line products. To hardwire an internet connection to your Zappi, you need RJ45s, RJ45 crimping tool, little boots, and a Cat5 cable. On my crimping tool, it has a little diagram here, which is the one I'm gonna to copy today. Okay, first thing to do is just strip that insulation off, and then put your little boot on before you forget, which I already forgot, and then untwist your pairs, straighten all the cables out. And then all you wanna do is get them in the right order nice and straight like that. I'm going to cut these down to make it easier to work with and then with your RJ45 making sure you get it round the right way you want to slide it in. Now these are feed through RJ45s so once you've got it going you can just push them all the way through like that and then you can check to make sure that you've got all the cables in the right order. Once they're all ready you get your RJ45 crimping tool slide it in like that 
perfect. This is now ready to plug into the front of the Zappi unit. I'm installing two CTs on this job. CT2 is here and I'm setting this to monitor on the Zappi. And this CT here, this one is set to grid on the Zappi. So on the front cover of the Zappi, right there is the RJ45 port. So make sure to connect that up before you put the front plate on. So this installation consisted of a new consumer unit in the house, feeding a new consumer unit in the garage. From there, we've got the EV charging point installed. We've installed two CTs, one on monitor in the garage and another one on grid in the house. I've run a 10 mil EV ultra cable all the way through so I've got continuous Cat5 so I don't have to use a Harvey. And if you're in a situation where you need to get a cable from the center of the house to outside, there's floors concrete and you can't lift up any floors upstairs, use the D-line trunking. It's tidy and if you cork it all in it looks really great. Thanks for watching as always, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel.